Okay, so in this video, I will try to explain what's happening inside Cobrate Deploy when you combine data from different systems. Uh, so when you want to create a KPI with data from two different systems, then we do some stuff and that's, this is how we do it. So if you have system A over here and system B over here, let's draw that. System A and system B. And then you combine this data by putting it into deploy, the calculation engine. Let's call this E4 engine. And then you put the data inside here. Then out comes a calculation with different data points that shows on a graph, maybe something like, like this. So how do we actually do this? Because one problem is that these data sources, they probably don't emit or like they probably don't um, uh, yeah, emit like different data on the same time, like the same uh, schedule. So for instance, this may have new data once a day and this may have new data maybe every hour. So that's a little hard to calculate. And this is, uh, this is a thing that we have addressed in Cobra Deploy and this is how we do it. So if you go down here, you may have from data source A, you may have some data points that looks like something like that. And then from B, you may have some data points that look like this. The frequency is not as high as with A. So in this case, what we do is that we say, okay, until a new value arrives, we stick to the old one because that's the newest one we know. So in this case, we'll say, okay, that's zero, zero, zero. And then here comes a new value, goes up to here, new value, goes up to here, new value, continues and goes down. And that is what is called a step of function. That's not important, but that's what it is. So down here, we do the same thing. Starts with zero, goes up, continues, moves down a little bit, continues and moves up again. And now what we do is that when we want to draw this sum of these two, let's say we want to draw A plus B, like so. Then it comes into the engine. We take the different data and we take the one with the highest uh, amount of data points. So in this case, the frequency of that one was one per hour and this one were one per day. So we take this one and say, okay, so at this point in time, what's the current value down here? And that's the latest one we have here. And then we create a data point with that time from the, the one above. And then the next time something changes, that's here. Okay, still the same down here. And then comes a new value here in B. Okay, and then what's the value here? Same thing and so on and so forth, which gives us a graph here. You can see in corporate deploy. So that's how we do it in corporate deploy.